What is up guys, welcome back to The Locker. If you're new here, my name's Davey. We talk all things video games here, and I wanted to sit down and talk about the games that I'm most excited for for 2024, so let's jump right into it. This first game I wanna mention, which I haven't really seen a lot of people actually talk about it, is the first Berserker Kazan. I'm super excited for this game. It's kinda of like a Souls-like action RPG. And it's actually the next entry to the Dungeon and Fighter universe. It combines the fast-paced, higher-energy action of old-school brawlers with classic RPG elements. All wrapped in an anime-esque art style, you can expect hack-and-slash combat and plenty of customization. Players will step into the shoes of Kazan as he is falsely accused of treason. Combat takes center stage in Kazan's quest for vengeance against those who orchestrated his downfall. Marked by intense, aggressive, and ever-changing styles of battle. To survive, you must master combat, upgrade character skills, weapons, and armor. There's no release date yet on the first Berserker Kazan, but you can expect it on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC sometime in the near future. The next game on my list is Flintlock The Siege of Dawn. This is also another action RPG. You play as Nor Venek, a coalition member who is trying to save mankind from extinction, fighting against the old gods. You'll use melee weapons and flintlock firearms to attack enemies. Ammunition is scarce though, but using Nor's axe will refill ammo for her flintlock weapons while killing enemies with her flintlock firearms will restore armor. You're also accompanied by Inky, a mysterious fox-like creature that you can command to distract or stun enemies, which that's pretty neat. The open world is divided into three different regions. You can partake in different side activities which change the state of the game's world and its population, which I thought that was very interesting. For example, killing enemies in a village will prompt its original community to return. I don't know, that's pretty neat to me. As you venture and explore, you'll meet other NPCs, some of which will join your party and show up at the caravan. Nor's caravan serves as a hub area for crafting and upgrading items. Flintlock The Siege of Dawn is set to release for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S sometime in the near future in 2024. Um, it's nice to see that they're still making games for the Xbox One and PS4 though. This next game is giving me like Skyrim-esque vibes. It's being developed by Obsidian Entertainment, the same people that did Grounded. That game is Avowed. Avowed is also a action RPG, but instead of third person, it's going to be strictly first person perspective. You arrive on a remote region named the Living Lands to investigate a mysterious plague. Players can use magic, melee weapons, and firearms to defeat enemies. It's not a fully open world game, but it does feature several large open zones for you to explore. You couldn't find a whole lot of stuff on this game, but it is set to release in 2024 for PC and Xbox Series X and S. And the next game on the list, well, you guessed it, it's another action RPG. That game is Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. You control a pair of ghost hunters, which are lovers and banishers, or ghost hunters who vow to protect the living from the threat of ghosts and specters. With Ante and Red, the characters you play as, Ante is fatally wounded, becoming one of the spirits she loathes. The setting takes place in the haunted wilds of North America, with a lore-rich world plagued with supernatural creatures and ancient secrets. You'll use your wits and combine Ante's spiritual powers and Red's arsenal to defeat and banish the souls tormenting the living. This one's actually coming up pretty soon. It's set to release on February 13th for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and also PC. That's Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. I don't think you're ready for this next game. I'm ready for motion. It's actually a SpongeBob Souls-like. Well, not really. It's another crab's treasure. It's a Souls-like that's set underwater. You play as Creel, a hermit crab. You'll pick up trash to use as your shell and also as protection against enemies many times your size. You'll embark on an epic treasure hunt to buy back your repossessed shell while discovering the dark secrets behind the polluted ocean. You'll fight your way through kelp forests, coral reefs, sandcastle cities, and deep sea trenches, all in the name of getting back your prized shell. This game was also designed to be more approachable for new Souls-like players. While also being a challenge for hardcore fans, with assist options for those seeking a less frustrating experience. There's even a way to one-tap bosses. So this game is definitely play at your own pace. 
Another Crab's Treasure will be available on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Xbox X and S, and also PC, set to release sometime in 2024. The next game on my list is being developed by the same people that did No Man's Sky. That is Light No Fire. The base game is looking to be a survival crafting with RPG elements. Instead of different planets to explore, the game is focused on a single, incredibly detailed world. Hello, Sean Murray is describing it as the first real open world with no boundaries. From the trailer, it seems to have elements of crafting, mining, and the ability to ride flying mounts. There's no word yet on release date or platforms. You can expect probably late 2024. They also have a Steam page. Last but not least, Moon Studios is behind this next game, the developer of Ori and the Blind Forest and Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It's called No Rest for the Wicked. I'm sorry, I had to do that. This is the studio's first attempt at a Diablo style game with an isometric top down view. It takes place in a painting like world with significant verticality and scale with monsters to fight, hidden treasures and plenty of quests with intense action combat. You can fight monsters and enemies alone or alongside up to three players in online co-op. You'll work together to overcome challenges or you can split up and explore simultaneously. No Rest for the Wicked is planned for an early access on PC in the first quarter of 2024, with full release later on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S. You can expect more details on March 1st in a digital showcase called Wicked Inside, airing on YouTube and Twitch. So that's just a few of the games I'm excited for in 2024. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. I think if I had to pick one that I'm most excited for, it's got to be the first Berserker Kazan. That one looks really interesting to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.